everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Coach's Car Ride. And in this episode, uh, we're going to talk about what type of strength training you should do if you're an endurance runner. Welcome back, everybody. In this episode, we're talking about uh, what type of strength training you should do if you're an endurance runner. Now, if you missed the last uh, video of these, Coach's Car Ride, I'll link it up in the cards above me. And what we talked about essentially was that every runner, distance runner, needs to do strength training. And not only do you need to do strength training, but you should also be squatting. And then more specifically about squats is partial range of motion is inferior to full range of motion. So even though you squat less weight with full range of motion compared to partial with a full range of motion, you uh, improve your uh, running ability and decrease your chance of injury. I will link that and we talk more specifics about why that is the case in the previous video. But regardless, now that we've established that runners, endurance athletes, have to do some sort of strength training, uh, I will link all these studies down below and you can feel free to go in there and uh, check out those and we can start a discussion if need be. We're not talking essentially uh, even Olympic marathon runners. These people uh, are the very best at what they do in one of some of the furthest distances that is a race. I know we have ultra marathon runners but we're not talking about that. There's very few of you out there and there's even very few marathon runners but regardless um, even they do strength training um, upwards of 1.5 times a week. So even Olympic marathon runners are doing some strength training. Now, there's different types of strength training we can do. Uh, first type we'll talk about is your power training. So this is your plyometric stuff. This is also your 85 to 90 plus percent uh, intensity of your one rep max. And that's you're doing that for four to less reps. Next one we'll talk about is you're building strength and strength we're looking anywhere from that five reps now all the way up to almost 12 reps and you're doing uh, that between 70 and 85 percent of your one rep max. Um, again all these are for three to four sets. Um, it's still not debated but there's still research out there regarding what's the ideal number of sets but we've uh, pretty firmly established what uh, best uh, rep schemes are for various uh, goals. And then the last one is what we'll talk about is what's really important to runners out there is that muscular endurance uh, rep and set ratio when we're looking at below 70% and at least predominantly in the tech, uh, again, for three to four sets. Um, now, if you're asking about, well, how long do I take a break in between sets? Um, the evidence out there varies. It depends what you want to follow. If you follow what's kind of predominantly in the textbooks and what's been out there for a long time. When you're doing any sort of muscular endurance, you're looking at taking about uh, 30 seconds to about 90 seconds rest in between sets. Uh, if you read some of the more recent stuff, again, which I'll link below, uh, we're looking at upwards of three minutes. Now, the reason being for taking a three minute break, even when you're doing muscular endurance, is that it gives you more rest and you can do more reps. So if you're training to failure in that 12 plus rep range, more rest allows you to do more reps. And we also know that more volume throughout the week, not just in the individual workout, is also a prime indicator for you achieving your goals. So I tried to keep it short today. That's pretty much it. Uh, again, wrap it up in one or two sentences. If you're a runner, 3K, 5K plus distance runner, you need to do some strength training. You need to squat. You need to squat full range of motion and you should be working at 12 plus rep range uh, for about three to four sets and anywhere from 30 seconds to three minute rest in between each one. So again, I've linked all the studies down below. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something today. And if you did, don't forget to click that like, share and subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys next time.